Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. Stand strong with Excel. VBA is fun. In the last video, we made um, using Peter Thornton's uh, scroll wheel code here, we were actually able to attach an API call to scroll up and down using the mouse w the mouse wheel or scroll wheel, excuse me. Uh, but I didn't want necessarily to change the value, the selection using the scroll wheel. See right now. I'm scrolling but it's changing the selection what if you wanted it to just change this sucker right here but leave this one selected well I'm going to show you how to do that this is uh, my really only contribution besides demonstrating these things for everybody and giving an example workbook because I think this needs to be shared but my only contribution is that I figured uh, the, the thing that this is changing is the list index which is the actual selected the number of the selection like if this was zero this would be one two three that's how Excel thinks of a list is in which number of index number it is down so instead of changing the index number like this is doing with the scroll wheel I just wanted to change what's called the top index the top index is the position of this scroll bar here and you can see it by coming down here the top index currently is 4 you can see right here so uh, and now it's 3 and now it's 2 and now it's 1 and 0 so uh, whatever the top one is that's the top index so that's really what mattered to me is I wanted to scroll whenever the mouse moves and move this so that's how you do it with the top index so let's get into the nitty gritty go into the scroll wheel um, module that Peter Thornton created for us and uh, I wanted to show you in the private function he created called mouse pros um, I found that these are the two most two or three most pivotal lines right here because if the parameters of the mouse is greater than zero then for some reason that means uh, it's going down I believe so he's had IDX be the variable that goes down one. Uh, otherwise, if you're scrolling up, the IDX was to be equal to one. And then IDX, which is either negative one or one, is added to the mouse control dot list index, meaning it would either increase or decrease the list index, the selection of that list box. But I figured, mm, I kind of wanted it to increase or decrease you know to add negative one or add one to the mouse control the current control which is either a list box or a combo box I wanted it to add that to the top index and so I wanted to try that and it, sure enough it worked out just fine so let's do that I'm gonna copy and paste these I don't want to lose the original here but I'm going to just kind of comment out this and this and I want to change this to top index instead of list index and if it goes capital the T goes capital and I click away then that is a valid uh, control or a valid option there anyway I'm just gonna hit F5 no I'm not I'm gonna double click on the user form and hit F5 um, so now you see whenever I scroll my mouse it doesn't change the selection it changes the top index from 0 to 1 now 2 is at the top now 3 is at the top now 4 and that's as much as it goes same with this thing here. Uh, it just allows you to scroll, but ultimately, where you click or where you hover your mouse is the selection. So that's pretty much it. The only thing, other thing I want to show you is in this module. The same thing here is uh, you can have uh, you can actually change these numbers. Obviously, you can change anything you want. But let's say you change this to two and negative two, then it would scroll by twos. There's only uh, one problem I see with that and it could be resolved if somebody's put their head to it but anyway it skips by twos so it scrolls a little faster and if you had a larger list it would make more sense so I will make it a little larger insert so add a few extras in here and let's go ahead and uh, hit F5 so now, okay, so I'm going to use my scroll wheel here, and you can see that it's, it's actually 
instead of going by ones, it's going by twos. Only problem with that is, you see right here there's a little bit of a gap, so it doesn't actually scroll to the top. You would have to make a custom exception for when the when the the top index is you know right on the verge and just go ahead and make it zero because otherwise you have to click right there same with this it doesn't go all the way up so um that's pretty much it I'm gonna change it back to being negative one and one but if you want to play with that it is available for download in my Dropbox uh, that I'm sharing publicly with everybody so uh, that particular Dropbox folder um, I'll try to list the uh, the link there but otherwise go to my YouTube channel and search the word Dropbox and you'll find the link to all of my wonderful files that I'm uploading so that you can have this as part of your uh, bag of tricks thanks for watching guys